Now, there are some tentative explanations uh, uh, that give the right ballpark for the vacuum energy. One of them is called the holographic principle. This is a tentative explanation. There are a number of others out there. Now, the holographic idea is an interesting one. And that is that the, the maximum information that you can have stored in a sphere is not proportional to the volume of the sphere, but to the area of the sphere. That comes from the fact that the mo most information that you can have in a sphere is a black hole of the same size. And the, and, and the information in a black hole is proportional to the surface of, of, uh, the, of the sphere. And you calculate that, and you get 10 to the minus 5, exactly what is, is deserved. So that's, there's some things, technical problems with uh, the holographic idea, but uh, I think that's pretty promising. In any case, uh, there's no reason to assume that cosmological constant is fine-tuned to one part in 10 to the 120, which is what you'll read in all the theist literature where people talk about this stuff. Now, let me, let me just list those examples again and, and tell you why uh, none of them are a problem. The ratio of the number of electrons to protons in the universe, there's the same number of them for a very simple reason, because they have opposite charge, and the universe has presumably had zero total charge, and so for charge conservation, the two numbers are equal. <laughs> the ratio of electromagnetic force to gravity was a problem. We see that that just results from the low mass of elementary particles, which is natural. <coughs> Expansion rate of the universe is, is supposed to be very fine-tuned. You'll, you'll read this in a lot of literature, uh, and that is explained by the early uh, model of inflation <coughs> in, uh, of, of inflationary cosmology. It's exactly what it should be. In fact, it's kind of interesting. People like uh, William Lane Craig and Denise D'Souza, another apologist who's out there, uh, quote, like to quote Hawking's book, where Hawking says that uh, this expansion rate of the universe is uh, had been one part in a hundred thousand, thousand million, uh, and uh, the rest of the universe would have, would have uh, just uh, immediately collapsed. And they, they, they could find that, you could find that on page 121 of uh, Hawking's book, A Brief History of Time. But if you go seven pages later, he explains why, why that's no problem because of the inflationary model. And they ignore that explanation because they just read what they want to read suit their uh, prejudices. Mass density of the universe is also related to inflation uh, to the same quantity, and all of this I give the details of in the book. So the cosmological constant we've seen could possibly be explained by the holographic universe. So those extreme examples are easily explained. Let me just mention some of the others, other parameters that uh, people talk about, and uh, some other form of life uh, would be possible with other variations. A lot of people have made calculations, including myself. I published my first one in my book, The Unconscious Quantum, way back in 1995, where I showed that you could vary the parameters of the universe and still get log live stars and so on. And there have been other better calculations made by people since then. So here's the summary of fine-tuning. Some of the parameters uh, have the values they do by definition. The speed of light, Planck's constant, actually Newton's constant, g, these are all arbitrary numbers. They can be anything you want. The speed of light is not an adjustable parameter. It's, it's just whatever you want it to be. It's just it's the, just to use it to define the, the, uh, the meter. You start out with a definition of the second, and then, then you define the meter as, as the uh, amount of time that, the, uh, that you measure on a clock, uh, when, that, when, that, uh, when that time is, is uh, one over the speed of light, as we normally define it, uh, you get the definition of the meter. So these are arbitrary parameters. So 
some parameters have exactly the values that they should have, the ones that I talked about from the standard model. Uh, remaining parameters are fixed by the standard model or have values within ranges expected by these models. And only the cosmological constant remains arguable. Well, as I've shown you 